And I think to find the right uh, balance of implementation to allow women uh, to move into these new opportunities and new positions, if they want, if they're qualified, if they can do the job. And why shouldn't they have those opportunities? Why shouldn't they have the same opportunities as, as men do uh, on these? And so that's essentially my uh, point of view on this. We're working toward that, and I'm proud, again, I say, that this institution uh, is doing that. And again, I go back to the, the bigger point of how we integrated our services under Harry Truman. Colin Powell gives some beautiful speeches about, about that. Uh, and, and you can go all, all the way through these issues. All right, there you go. That's uh, Chuck Hagel, Defense Secretary of these United States, uh, speaking yesterday. Welcome back to the uh, Steve Malzberg Show. Uh, women in Combat. Joining us now is Brandon Webb, I should say rejoining us now, former U.S. Navy SEAL, Editor-in-Chief at softrep.com, S-O-F-R-E-P.com, the number one site on the Internet for information related to the U.S. and Allied Special uh, Operations community. Also, he is uh, the author of the New York Times bestseller, The Red Circle. Um, hello, Brendan. How are you, sir? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. Thanks for coming. All right, so what do you think of this issue of women in combat, uh, you know, in, in general, and then we could get specific to the SEALs and, and other, uh, other um, you know, special forces. Um, of course, Chuck Hagel and the administration is pushing this. I've heard the other side from various members of the military and, and, and the military analysts. So where do you fall on this? Uh, I'm pretty down the middle. I mean, I, I look at it from an open mind. You know, you're going to have a lot of resistance to, to change. I mean, this is in the special operations community. It's it's primarily been a, a boys' club for quite some time now, and, and kind of the last bastion of of an all male units. You know, we we saw the, the integration of the, the female pilots in the in the navy and the combat roles and, and resistance there. Um, in the beginning, I I think women have been in combat in Afghanistan, supporting, um, and and you could even argue in a special operations capacity for years now. It just it hasn't been talked about it. We actually interviewed uh, one of the one of the, the female support gals uh, on our website. But my issue is the military is, you know, I, I'm glad to hear that they're doing a study on this. And okay, we uh, we're having a little bit of a problem with the phone. Yeah, I guess we had a problem with the phone. I will right, we'll reestablish contact uh, with. Uh, with Brandon and, and, and you know, and what I want to ask him certainly about is standards and, and maintaining standards. And I'm sure he will agree that uh, that's uh, that's probably the most important thing uh, because uh, standards uh, tend to uh, be compromised uh, when 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 you're making way for people who are of less strength, of less height, of less weight. And uh, that, that, that certainly is a concern of mine in police forces and fire departments uh, in, in, in cities around the country. And uh, I've seen it happen seen it happen in New York, and, um, you know, I, I would hope that it wouldn't happen uh, to our military uh, because that's, that's so very, very important. We're having a lot of these problems, aren't we? A lot of these, a lot of these uh, I don't know, you know, you never know who's listening. PRISM, uh, NSA, whatever, we're getting them back.
so that's heard here in New York did and how poor the phone quality of the guest was and and how more and more uh, the phone quality is diminishing on talk radio with phone guests. And there's nothing you could do about it. I, I, I don't know why that would be the case. Certainly the quality of cell phones, I mean, you know, it's probably because more people are using cell phones. But nonetheless, that's been going on for quite some time. And the quality of cell phones, you would think, are increasing. And you would think there are less dead, dead spots, right? You would think more and more people uh, are in places that are fully wired up. I mean, not why that's the wrong terminology probably but you know what i mean what are connected so I, I i can't explain it i don't know what are we trying to back one more time see, okay we'll see oh, what's going to voice he's probably still talking like last time he doesn't know he's not on all right look unfortunate but uh but that's what happens maybe we'll try another day when brandon webb is at a um, a uh, a more secure um location than he is at right now you never know. Uh, but uh, check out his, uh, his book, uh, The Red Circle, and uh, check out softrep.com. That's S-O-F, like Frank, R-E-P, softrep.com. Uh, that is the uh, number one site for uh, information, anything related to the U.S. and Allied Special Forces Operations uh, community. Special ops. I like to say special ops. Now, what was I talking about uh, before with you guys that I, that, that I really wanted to talk about? And I didn't know if I'd have time. I don't, I don't remember if it was... Uh, Sports related. It was. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. All right, I told you guys a story a couple of weeks ago. I went to a major sporting goods store, and I'm 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 close to telling you what that sporting goods store was. I went to a major sporting goods store in New Jersey, um, and I, I had to get sneakers for my son. Bottom line is, we picked the sneakers off the wall. The guy brought gray instead of black. We got him back. We got him back. All right. I, well, okay, to be continued. Uh, Brandon, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. But um, so, so ta we only got about a minute and a half. So address the, uh, the, 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 the possibility that standards would be, you know, uh, decreased. Yeah, I think there's a big concern for everybody because a, lo a lot of our, those standards have been written in blood and in combat. So I think that's a concern with everybody. I'm, I'm less concerned about the, the physical standards as, as I am the – the actual the test and that these guys go through and, and now these women will will likely go through through training with whether it's a diving physics test or any type of academic stuff or or you know you name it it's it just why why would that, that be hard brandon we got 30 seconds why would that be more difficult for the women than the physical test well i i mean the, the physical thing is <clears throat> granted men and women are are different physically so that's that's going to be <clears throat> excuse me, a major point of, of discussion, but uh, I've seen it. We've had pressure from above for minorities to get into special operations, and I've seen those, those standards flex and guys get through that, that they shouldn't have, and eventually there's problems in the teams. And Right, we don't, we don't want that. Hey, listen, Brandon.